Revenge is on the mind. The trappers are in their dugout and exacting their pound of flesh. At least that's what they hope to do on this Tuesday evening, trying to get back home to the trap house with a win under their belt. It's gone limp at least for the moment as Norby readies for the one two. Here comes the offering. A swing and a miss. Down on strikes is Chauncey Collier. And Kyle Norby allows a leadoff single, but no loss other than that. The trappers today, checking out of the hotel at noon, spending a couple hours walking around the mall and elsewhere as well. So a good team bonding session on this Tuesday. The 2-2 is a swing and a miss again. How about Kyle Norby, who is putting down hitters like eating pieces of cake? Two gone in the bottom half of inning number four, and Sam Powers will try to avoid being the latest victim from the beautiful off-speed pitches that is that of Kyle Norby. Tyler Rennell, a guy who likes to keep to himself for the most part, but he really is an individual mature beyond his years after transferring out from playing football to baseball. Nothing in one on the DH today. Rennell swings in, lines one in the left. He's two for two. Base hit for Tyler Rennell as he scurries down to first. Hunter Holland will throw it in. But how about Tyler Rennell tonight? Two balls and one strike. Rubino looking to settle himself down. The offering is swinging a deep drive to left field. Back on his Holland. It will leave the ball yard for a three-run homer. Michael Herrera checks one over to the left field wall. And the Trappers have a 4 nothing lead. How about that? Silencing the Corbett Field crowd. Michael Herrera extending on a 2-1 pitch from Hunter Rubido, and things are coming unraveled for the Sabre Dogs in the fifth. It is nothing in one as the sun begins to set over Corbett Field. Game two of a two-game set. Soros Valley took game one yesterday, 5-3. Here comes the 0-1, a swing and a deep drive to left field. That ball is long gone. A three-run homer for Chauncey Collier, and just like that, the trapper lead is cut to one. Talk about a no-doubter. Kyle Norby makes his first mistake of the game, and suddenly the fans at Corbett Field have revitalized their energy. It's Trappers four, Sabre Dogs three. Some trains and some trees as well. First pitch to Seth Brewer is down Broadway but low for ball one. So if Seth Brewer is able to get on here, the next batter is Sam Calper. Today hitless so far. 1-0 pitch, a swing and a liner into the right field corner base hit. That ball's going to reach the wall. Digging for second, Seth Brewer. Quickly cutting it off as Cruz Taylor. It's going to be a stand-up double for Seth Brewer, who steamrolls his way into second. The left fielder today keeping the locomotive rolling, no pun intended, and the Trappers have a run at one out man in scoring position. Here is Jonathan Bolifin, first at bat of the afternoon after he replaced Tyler Rennell in the DH spot after he went into center field and Bill Moreland came in to be the pitcher. Bolifin so far this season, four for 29, five runs scored. Nothing in one in the righty righty matchup. Here comes the pitch. A swing and a deep drive, left field. It's far, it's high, it is gone! Two-run shot by Jonathan Bolofen, and the Trappers are back up 6-3. to three. How about that for perfect timing? I excuse myself from being upset at Bolofen replacing Tyler Rennell. The center fielder launches one for the second Trapper home run of the day, and it's Pier 6 at Soros Valley, 3 in the 8th. Forget one run of insurance. How about a deuce? He scored on the home run by Bolifin. This is batter number six of the inning for Peer. Brewer would love to find the gap here yet again. Nothing and one. Brunzer Mendoza stares back the man at third and uncorks the pitch. A swing, a check swing in the dirt, and it gets past the catcher, Bolifin, scoring on a slide is the man at third, Nick Holterman. The Trappers lead it now seven to four. Another insurance run crosses home. The man at first and second advance 90 feet. It's a swinging strike, I believe, by Seth Brewer, but it gets a run home. Trappers with one of the ninth to take a three-run lead. Nothing in one, the pitch here coming from Bill Moreland. On the way, a swing and a liner into left field, another base hit. 
It gets down in front of Seth Brewer. Stopping at second is Wilson Rubidon. It's an RBI single for Cruz Taylor, and the tying man is aboard here in the ninth. Hun Hunter Holland takes home. It's now 7-5 to five here in the inning, and that will have Source Valley send a man to the bullpen. As number 27, Bradley Spooner, who pitched the ninth inning last night, will be the man warming up in case this game gets tied. And a hair pulling bottom of the ninth. Morris is ready with the 3 2. The offering. A swing and a miss on a fastball down low. Dennison retired on strikes as Morris gets three consecutive fastballs by the two hitter. And down to the final out tonight are the Soros Valley Sabre Dogs. Nathan Morris sets at the waist, takes a deep breath, and fires the pitch. A swing, ground ball to the shortstop. Ultramats on it. Fire to first. It is. In time, Trappers win! The call is made by Connor Lloyd, and the Trappers have come in to Corbett Field and split the series on a beautiful throw from Nick Ultramat ending tonight's contest. 7-5 is your final. 